What's going on guys, Southeast Soft Wash. We're up here at the shop on a Saturday, and as you can see behind me, we've got a army, I guess you'd call it an armada of Kraken 5.5 pressure washers. So that's our brand of pressure washers. We build them in an eight and a five and a half gallon a minute variant, and we build a lot of them. We don't normally quite have this many in stock, but because we do, we're gonna be running a sale this weekend on these bad boys and uh, knocking quite a bit off. So if you guys are in need of a good medium size kind of commercial pressure washer but it's not an eight gallon it's not a four gallon it's right there in the goldilocks zone it'll do everything you need it to do for residential and commercial stuff as well so let's take a look at we've got one here on the uh little lift table thing here and i'm going to show you guys why we really prefer this like i said this is the goldilocks of pressure washers for 90 percent of the guys out there doing full-time work because you're going to be doing a ton of uh, residential and the occasional commercial I even kind of throw strip malls and churches and stuff like that. There's, there's still sort of like a residential scope of work. So this will actually do all that you needed to do. You don't have to have an eight gallon a minute. Now, let's spin the camera around and show you. We got a ton of eight gallons as well, and we, we'll put those on equipment uh, right here. We've got some gear drives and we've got some belt drives. I think we've got six or eight of those in stock. And then here in these crates back here, those are eight gallon hot water systems. So we sell it all, we use it all. I'm just saying that for the vast majority of guys getting into the business, this is all you need. And, and don't think that this is a small pressure washer at all, okay? It's a five and a half gallon a minute, uh, about a 3200 PSI system here. So come around here, I'm gonna show you guys. We'll start at the engine. Talk about this engine. Now we use Hondas. We're certified Honda, Kohler, and Vanguard dealer. I really like the Vanguard. I know everybody thinks they need a Honda, and Honda's done a really good job of quality over the years, but we've been using this engine for, I guess, going on two years now, and I prefer this engine over a Honda. I don't, I would not have a Honda, that's not what I'm saying, but this is a really, really solid engine, and it's an extra horse over the Honda, so that's a plus. I do like that to shut it off, you drain the fuel out. I like that because we don't run the risk of leaving fuel in the carb, that can lead to some issues. Everything here is just done really nice. All the controls are really nice. Nothing's cheap or chintzy at all. Really solid. It's also got the cyclonic air filter, which is just a much better air filter system. We've got a couple, like probably 2,000 of these out in the field, uh, and we have not had the first issue. We did have an issue with a guy in Canada running some super high ethanol fuel, and he gummed up the carburetor, but that had nothing to do with it being a Vanguard. We also make this base plate here in Roanoke at our other shop across town. So we manufacture these ourselves and they're very, very heavy duty, welded on, under the bottom. It's a piece of channel and a extremely thick gauge. And it's already got the bolt holes made in it for all of those uh, common engines that we're gonna use. So you're gonna get rubber isolator feet. We'll throw those on there. We got them in the box. Stainless steel hardware. Uh, oil drain is going to be easy on these as well. Let me spin it around a little bit and show you guys the middle piece of the puzzle is the gearbox. All right, so before I forget, it is electric start, all right? There's your wiring. Put you some ring terminals on there and it's electric start. You can pull start it if you need to. So you still got the pull start option on the side. If you lose your key or something, you can still crank it up. Let's take a look at the gearbox here in the middle. Now, belt drives. We've got some eight gallon a minute belt drives. We've built belt drives on this size, the 5.5 size. I personally prefer a gear drive system. Well, why is that? Belt drive does have advantages. Belts are cheap and you can get them anywhere. Uh, even if you can't get the exact triplex belt, you can get three individual belts from basically any Napa or auto parts store that's the same diameter belt. I prefer a gearbox because it's just much less maintenance. I changed the oil in this thing. What we do is we change the oil here, here, and here in the pump all at the same time. We do it four times a year. We just do it quarterly and we're done with it. So a little bit of an oil change, but belts stretch, belts break, belts can go down on you at any time. This can as well, but you notice the gearbox is about that big. It's not that much money. Keep a spare gearbox, take four bolts out on the engine side, four bolts out on the pump side, pull the entire gearbox, stick another gearbox in there and you're good to go. Now, that's not very common. If you're taking care of them, they're gonna last you for years. It's a very, very heavy duty commercial, like a little transmission is what it's actually doing. What we're trying to do here is reduce the RPMs from here to here so that we're running this pump at the correct ratio 
torque and RPM ratio. So gear drive, that's a plus. I love a gear drive system. They're, they're just really hassle free. When they go down, you change them out, it's simple. Belts are fine. I, this is a little bit of an upgrade in my mind from over a belt drive. So looking at the pump here, this one's got an AR. All of those have ARs. This is our preferred setup. Now, every once in a while, we will have a shortage on something. So we have to get a, a different brand gearbox or a different brand pump. We may go to a Comet pump or a General pump. They're all fine. Personally, I like the way the AR looks. Come in here with the camera. It just looks clean. Like everything looks, you know, high finish on there. It's, it's just, it's clean. So we like these, they all perform the same. They all got about the same specification, but if we can have what we want, 90% of the ones that go out of this building are gonna be in this configuration on the 5.5 gallon a minute size. We do have a one inch inlet here on the side. So stick you a one inch hose, put a hose clamp, bypass line, outgoing pressure line as well. Side glass here and the side glass for the uh, gearbox is on the other side. So it's easy, man. All you gotta do is mount this bad boy. Here's what I would recommend. Put it where you want it. You can drill you some secondary holes on this wing on both sides, you know, two holes here, two holes there and bolt it down. Do not take the rubber feet off the, they're there for vibration absorption. If you wanted to do it kind of the cleaner way, you can mark your holes, remove your rubber feet, run a longer bolt all the way through and use this hole to run through the rubber feet and as a mounting hole as well. But yeah, that is the Kraken 5.5 pressure washer. Super robust, commercial grade. It'll do everything you need to do. This is what I have on my personal rig uh, like I said, if you need an eight gallon, that's fine. But don't believe all the hype that you gotta have an eight gallon to be profitable. You can make a ton of money with a good five and a half gallon a minute system. And you don't really run the risk of running out of water on the job site. Got a ton of them in stock. You guys wanna grab one, take advantage. They will be on sale this weekend. We're knocking a lot off of these because like I said, we got a ton of them. So we'll see you guys in the next video.